So here's the big question. How do you sell heavy-duty parts in a digital world? That's the question, and this is the place where you're going to find the answers. My name is Jamie Irvin, and we are live in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Welcome to another live stream. Today is Thursday, October 14th, 2021. You may kind of hear in my voice that uh, I'm not feeling very good right now. I uh, just went for my COVID test this morning. Hopefully it's not COVID. I am vaccinated, so hopefully I've got that extra layer of protection. And it's just a regular old cold that I will be able to deal with and get past in a couple days. That is my hope. Anyway, with all of our live streams, as always, we would love to have you participate in the conversation. So feel free to comment or ask a question, and I will do my best to incorporate you in the broadcast. Today, we're going to talk about getting your website to perform better, and we're going to focus in on the hero section. Last week, we talked about the top menu or the navigation bar. Today, we're going to talk about the hero section. So I'm just going to remove some of this branding here so that we can uh, share our screen and we're going to get into it right away. So let's just share this. Okay, so last week, again, we talked about the top menu or navigation bar, and I just want to see what this looks like. There we go. Um, and today we're going to talk about we're going to talk about that top menu or sorry, <clears throat> Uh, we're going to talk about the hero section. And of course, I'm having some technical difficulties. So here is a very common hero section that I see or or um, that that header for a home page. And, you know, one of the things that I see all the time, and I want to just get this out of the way right away, is the little slider where they have multiple slides at the top. You know, like Amazon does it, but I mean, most companies were not Amazon. So the research that I have looked at when it comes to web design um, says that those sliders actually reduce engagement and are not part of a good user experience for the average website. So the first thing I see wrong with this style of of hero section is that slider. Get rid of that. Uh, the second thing I wanted to talk about is what is said inside of the hero section. Now, this is something that I see all the time. Now, this is a this is a parts company, and yet they will have some sort of statement that sounds good, but doesn't really say anything. So in this example, we're driven to move you. For over 75 years, our industry-leading solutions have kept your business moving. Now, if it wasn't for the parts logo up in the top left corner, how would you interpret that information shared? Now, there's a truck and a trailer in the, in the picture in the background, driven to move you, leading solutions, keeping businesses moving. I mean, that could be many, many things. That could be everything from a moving company to some sort of commercial freight company to a consulting company to you pick it. It could be just about anything. So it doesn't really tell the customer a whole great deal or the, the visitor to your website a whole great deal about your company. And the other thing is, is it doesn't really mention the, the visitor in any meaningful way. So th this is a problem. And, and another thing that's missing is there's no call to action. And I see this style of hero section all the time. Now, let's just, I'm just going to um, bring up another slide. I'm not sure why this slide, ah, there we go. Okay, so this is another style of hero section that I see all the time. And um, there's there's a few things wrong with it. Again, it's a slider. There's also just way too much going on, like way too much. And there is a call to action here in the in in kind of the middle of the hero section on the right hand side to go buy and start shopping. But 
again, what, what does the customer get out of this? So, I mean, one thing I will say about this style of, of hero section is at least it shows, you know, it's a parts company and it's showing parts. The other thing is, is that we have the, we are the leader in part sales and we have a hundred thousand parts and we have 250 brands and we have 12 locations. It's all about the company. So I'll ask a couple of questions. What do we want the customer to do with this type of hero section? What is it exactly we're asking the visitor, a first time visitor, perhaps who's, who's just learning about our company. What is it that we want them to do? It's very difficult to know from a hero section that looks like this. Very difficult. And although this does highlight products, it's not particularly clear how to do business with that company. And we haven't really given the customer a good reason to do business with us instead of the next person, have we? We're just kind of throwing as much stuff at them as possible. So. In order to get this right, there are some, some really important things that you have to include. And, and really, it comes down to three key pieces of information. So the hero section should be simple. It should be straightforward. And it should have these three key pieces of information. It should include what you do. And if you do many things, what's the number one thing you do that you want people to know about? It should include what the customer gets out of doing business with you. If you do many things for customers, the most valuable thing that you do for them should be incorporated here. And we should have a very clear call to action, a call to action that is consistent with our top menu, with our navigation bar in the top. Now, what you do and what the customer gets out of doing business, those two pieces of information are actually interchangeable. Uh, you could put what the customer gets out of doing business with you first, and then you could explain what you do. The, the, the call to action, especially for a parts company, the buy now button needs to be very prominent. So it's like, okay, I get what you do. I get what I get out of doing business with you and I'm ready to buy. It should be very, very simple for the person to understand what you want them to do. Now, another element that I've included in this hero section is smiling faces of people who represent the ideal customer for these parts. That is a subtle but very important piece that is, it's one of those, if you don't know what image to use, um, just go with smiling faces of people who look just like your ideal customers. And what you get from doing it this way is you get a lot of clarity. And as you notice, it's very simple. We're not overwhelming people with, with way too much information. If you, if you throw everything at them, people will do nothing. If you ask them to do one thing, they're much more likely to do that one thing. Okay. So by way of review, most companies try to put way too much information in the hero section. And the critical questions that you need to answer are the questions that are in the mind of your prospect, your, your website visitor, when they come to your website for the very first time and they're learning about you, what kinds of questions do that, does that prospect have? Well, they want to know, what does this company do and, and is it what I'm looking for? Because no doubt they found your website because they were looking for something specific. So very quickly, people are scanning. They're scanning and they're saying, what does the company do and is it what I'm looking for? And then they want to know immediately, what do I get out of doing business with this company? And in, in other words, will it solve my problem? So as long as when they scan that hero section, they very, very quickly can identify those two pieces of critical information. It's like, yes, this is what I'm looking for. And yes, this is a solution to the problem I have. Then the next logical question the person has is, how do I do business with this company? So let's take a look at an example of how this can be done. And just by going back to our ABC parts company. 
So here we have smiling faces of customers in the background, a very simple hero section. ABC Parts Company sells heavy-duty parts that lower the total cost of operation for commercial fleets. And if you notice, the Buy Parts button matches the call to action in the top navigation menu, Buy Parts. So it's like if you are looking for heavy-duty parts that lower the total cost of operation for your commercial fleet, then you want to buy the parts from us and you want to click this Buy Parts button. Do you see how much more simple, direct this is? And sometimes I think that there is a fear that if we don't put all the information, jam it in the top of the website, we might miss the opportunity to do business with that or convert that prospect into a customer. When in reality, if you answer these three critical questions, right? What do you do? What does the customer get out of doing it with you? And what should they do when they want to buy from you? If you very clearly answer those three questions, they are much more likely to look at the rest of your website. There's something in um, when, when they're talking about websites, they talk about above the fold and below the fold. So when you land on the homepage or any page for that matter on a website, what you see on the screen is what's called above the fold. It's a it's an old newspaper um, expression, right? When the newspaper was folded in half, everything above the fold, below the fold. Well, websites is kind of similar. Everything you see on the screen is what's considered above the fold. Now you'll see in our example, every piece of critical information necessary to do business with this company is present in the cleanest, simplest possible way answering all of the questions that a person is asking when they go on a web search. What comes after is what we're going to talk about next week. One last point I wanted to make. When people come to a homepage, the data is pretty clear that the majority of people look at a website in a Z pattern, which means they start in the top left corner with your logo they scan across the page looking at your navigation bar then on a diagonal they come across the hero section looking at this this information and finally they go out to the right at the bottom so if you get this right and remember people are looking at this it's not the time it takes them to read it it's the time it takes their subconscious to scan it and basically decide Am I interested or not? Now, one way that you can really, in a, in a very data-driven way, identify whether or not you're going in the right direction is as you change this section, what's above the fold on your homepage, you can look at your analytics and you can find out how often people are bouncing. A bounce is when someone lands on the page, immediately leaves. A lot of websites have bounce rates up over 80% meaning 80% of the tra traffic generated through paid and organic results is immediately leaving. Now, if your website's at 80% and you make these changes and your bounce rate drops to, let's say, like 60%, that's a, that's a measurable way of seeing that what you're putting there is working. Conversely, if what you're putting there is creating this high bounce rate, then you got to change it. So this is the kind of thing that we help our clients with. And um, like I said, next week, we're going to continue the conversation and we're going to talk about what comes next on the homepage, which I believe for a parts company should be product categories. And over the next few weeks, we're going to go into much more detail about all the other things that are often missing from most heavy duty parts websites that need to be there. And th there's a golden opportunity for you to make your website perform better by organizing the information in a more consistent and a way that people want to consume it when they visit your site. So I'm just gonna stop sharing here. Let's bring back some of our branding. You are watching Jamie Irvin Live. If you would like to work with me directly on your website or on any of your marketing, I would like you to visit heavydutypartsreport.com slash consulting. We have a brand new consulting services page on the site. You're going to see a lot of the elements we've been talking about. 
Uh, I will say that there's some more updates coming on the website to make our website even more in alignment with the things I'm teaching. And um, if you'd like to work with us, go over to heavydutypartsreport.com slash consulting, learn all about our marketing consulting services. And I look forward to having a meeting with you to talk about how we can help you achieve your goals, selling more heavy duty parts in a digital world. Thank you for bearing with me today with my cold. Hopefully it's not COVID and I feel better uh, next week. Next week, we'll talk about product categories. Thanks again for watching. and We'll talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.